United Church minister before I was elected to uh, Queen's Park. As United Church minister, I wrote a book that won the Lambda Award in 2005 called Queering Evangelism, which was about being a trans-inclusive church. Out of that experience uh, came uh, friendships with a, a host of trans folk, uh, many of whom died by suicide in the time that I knew them, one being Toby, uh, Toby Dancer, who we named this bill after. So it's called Toby's Act. Uh, this will be the, th uh, the third time that I've had a tape. Three times Trans Health Collective and the Rainbow Health Collective have lobbied the, the Ginty government to try to get them to move on this. Um, and three times they've said maybe, but not yet. Barbara Hall, who's the Commissioner of the Ontario Human Rights Code, has written a letter to the SAR in support of this. Uh, so I don't get what the problem is. Um, I, I get that there's generalized support. Even among the PCs, there's support. Uh, but they're stalling. I, I think really they're playing to their conservative kind of rural base, the Liberals. So I'm hoping that everybody, particularly those in liberal health ridings provincially, lobby their MPPs and say, you know, God have forced your government to bring this bill in. Without gender identity in the Ontario Human Rights Code, you can actually, conceivably, and it's happening, uh, uh, not hire someone because they're trans, not rent to somebody because they're trans. Uh, again, it covers a, a host of functions. And if, you know, if, you wouldn't have like to stand on. The government says, well, sexual preference, but we know gender identity is not sexual preference. It's not about sexual preference, and sexual preference doesn't cover gender identity. So that's why it's really, really critical. made this uh, crazy decision to ban uh, Israeli apartheid from the Pride Festival. The queer community of Toronto was galvanized around this issue. They were galvanized to fight for free, uh, freedom of expression at Pride. Uh, this is not the only issue, but it's so obvious and it's so apparent uh, that I think it really brought the community out to say, no, this isn't acceptable. Uh, we won't stand for this. Uh, there have been a lot of problems around Pride, but I think this makes it most clear. Noticed uh, there there are people here that are carrying the stickers like "Who's Pride? Our Pride." That's actually uh, that sticker is um, it's. Um, it's representing the community contract. This is something that came out of discussions about various, uh, from various members in the community that felt sort of sidelined by Pride. Uh, that included some people from Blockarama, some people from the trans community, and some members of Quaya, along with a, a few others. Uh, they kind of got together and said, "Look, this is a, this is a." a this is not a one. This is not people working on their one issue or deals. What what it is is it's part of a larger picture. Um, and so that group of people came up with this idea to say we should we should propose a community contract between Toronto Pride, Pride Toronto, and uh, the queer and trans community of Toronto. And so the idea there is that it, it simply it makes simple demands that there should be uh, greater uh, greater transparency in decision making. There should be greater uh, transparency in financial affairs. That's a really significant uh, issue. Um, there should be. Uh, Every group should be free to express themselves as they see fit at Pride. Um, there should be greater support for local artists and local business. Uh, this is something that's really mess missing right now. There's also another issue which is interesting, which is, um, I don't know uh, if some of, your, some of your listeners are aware of this, but there's actually a rule right now that says that uh, any artist that participates at Pride has to sign a contract, and the contract says that they will not express political opinions from the stage. This is completely BS. This is totally unacceptable. Um, and uh, 
it because I think, you know, freedom of expression is just integral to art. It's an integral part of the expression, which is what the artist uh, is, that's where the creativity comes from. Um, it may come from politics, it may come from culture, um, but the artist should be free to determine what they feel is appropriate uh, for them to express on the stage, not pride to art.